Hi, welcome to Vicky's Precious Petals. Um, I was thinking I might put some coins in resin. So these are one or two cent pieces uh, that we don't use in Australia anymore. And oh, they're filthy. I found them in a cupboard, as you can tell. They've been in there for a while. So I'm hoping this works. Just some vinegar. And some salt. Oh, no, no, I'm just guessing the ratios. I'm throwing things on the floor. I'm just giving it a bit of a stir around. All right. And I'm going to throw these filthy coins in. Now, don't. If you go to clean your coins for resin, I wouldn't do this with like coins that are worth money. I don't know if it devalues them or not. But I'm just going to put these in resin so I haven't quite, yep, covered them enough. But add a bit more salt. Just like me cooking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just leave these for a while, separate them all out, and that's sitting on top of one another. Some of these are filthy. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to leave them like that, and I'll come back. Oh. Sorry, I was a bit off screen then. I was moving the camera again. Um, I'll come back and we'll see what happens. Hopefully this works, because I don't want to be having to scrub with a toothbrush. I don't have time for that sort of stuff. Okay, I'll talk to you in about an hour or so. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. And so you can see that most of the coins have come up shiny. Just got an old toothbrushy. So I'm just going to give a little light scrub on the soapy water. I'm just chucking them in. I think I don't have time for scrubbing coins. Some really bad. I don't know where that thing's been. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. So like this one here, for instance, really grotty. I won't use the really bad ones. Let's chuck them in the soapy water. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got them all. No, I haven't. Have I? Yep. Okay, I'm just going to dry them off. At least I can read them now. Oh my goodness, they look terrible. If you're doing this, don't mix your metals. So if you're doing copper coins, just do copper. If you're doing silver coins, just do silver. Okay, they're not quite as shiny as I was hoping. But at least I can read them now. That one's gross. 
So I just want a couple. Maybe I should have spun them over in the thing, I'm thinking. Okay, so I could probably get away with that one. I only want a couple. That one, I'm just wondering if I should hit them with a bit of um, toothpaste to try and make them shiny. Okay. Oh, yucky. Alright. The rest I'm just going to put back in a bag. I just want to do a few things. I did start a little project the other day. So this is just a little money bag. And then I just threw a one cent piece in there. Um, which made me think, oh, okay, let's, I'm sure I can do something a bit better. I just want to make some key rings for starters. That'll do me. Okay. So you get the drift. They could be shinier. I might get a bit of toothpaste onto them. Let's see if that makes them look a bit better. <coughs> I'll come back. Okay, I just hit one with a bit of toothpaste. This is one not done, this is one that's done. And I only like just did something quick, I wasn't spending like air of doing it. This is all I done. Flip it over. This one's got a bit of a really gaudy rim on it. And you can see I'm not spending like hours tucking it in the soapy water. And got it back out. Oh. So look how much better they come up. I could have spent a bit more time on that one. But this is one that's only come out of there, out of the salt and vinegar. And then the bit of toothpaste is really making a lot of difference. So I'm going to just continue on doing these few little coins. And, but I hope that's helpful if you want to put coins in your resin. Talk to you later. Bye.